Right, we're off round down water and we're looking for a bit different perspective. Why not come with me? Well, good afternoon, and you find me on another walk. And again, I'm walking from home this time. The last two, well, the last two walks I've done have been into the into the fells. One from home where I went up Libre Fell and then High Seat, and then the last one where I drove to Grasmere and went up Hound Crag. Again, I'm walking from home, but we've got a low level walk. I thought. Well, yeah, maybe I didn't think I, <coughs> I was looking, thinking where I could go and I decided it's a little while since I've walked around the lake. So the idea is to go around Derwent Water. It's about a, a 10 mile walk. We'll have a wander around. And I just want to try and come up with a slightly different perspective. Come up with some images that are different to what the images I've captured before. So, yeah, quite sure exactly what we'll come up with, but we'll do that. And the other thing I want to do while we're going round is hopefully get an image at the Ashness, Jet, Ashness Gate jetty. Um, you remember when I went up high seat and came down, although the jetty had been repaired, the repair barge and the launch were at it, so I didn't take any, any images, capture any images at that point. So hopefully we'll do that and we'll come up with other spots that are just slightly different. So, right, anyway, we'll get on our way and we'll see you a bit later. Right, well, we've come up with our first composition, whether it's radically different i'm not quite sure i mean to get something radically different round don't water is going to be quite hard but we've just come literally just past fry's crag the the bench that you can sit at and look down the lake is literally just there the other side of those couple of trees and we've got the bear here but what we've done is i just thought we'd have something slightly different it's not an image certainly not an image i don't think i've taken an image from here before and there you can see there's the camera and i've got it very low getting a low perspective and then if we come down here we can see oh if i bend down we've got this fence here and then the other thing we've got is this this sort of boulder with a tree growing next to it i don't know whether maybe if i zoom in you'll see it a bit better there so the perspective i've got if i come right down with the camera you can see we've got the the fence on the le the left and the boulder and the tree just on the right that's the the angle and then we're looking out over the lake down to uh, the Borrowdale Valley and Castle Crag is the sort of little one in the middle there. And the other things I've done, I've taken three different, captured three different exposures. Just the standard exposure, which I can't remember off the top of my head what it was now. And then I put, uh, and they're all with a polarising filter on. And I don't know whether you can see there's glare coming off the uh the lake so the polarizer is just getting rid of that glare but then i've taken as i say the standard one which is probably about oh a hundred and something a hundred and something of a second i then put a 10 stop nd filter on left it at f11 and then that gave me eight seconds uh, and then decided to take it further so i've put a three stop ND filter on. I don't know whether you can see there, there's the two filters on. And I've upped, or not upped, I've opened the aperture a bit to F8, 
and that gives us a thirtieth of a second. So which one is best, I don't know. We'll see and uh, come back. And the other thing I've been um and now in about a while and I've, I've set the camera now is to, I've always had it on cloudy, the white balance on cloudy, and then I've altered it in post. But what I've decided to do is go with auto on the camera, the auto white balance, and we'll still, obviously can still manipulate it on the computer. So yeah, that's the, the image we've got. We'll put it up on the video. It's, it's not vastly different, but it's a slightly different perspective, particularly trying to get that low. And we'll see you a bit later. Right, well we've made it to the jetty. It's probably getting on for a third, a quarter to a third of the way around. You can see skidder back there. It's quite busy around here, as around most of the lake. So I have, have managed to take a couple of um, handheld images. And it doesn't help, there's the steps on the jetty there but we'll see what we can do in um, post-processing so yeah that's the jetty and we're gonna go on because there's um, a a Ooh. somebody who sells coffee from the back of a car up there that I might go and see what she's got before we carry on further around so yeah it's a nice day it's a pleasant walk a bit difficult for images with so many people about so I think I've got some good ones. I did take some handheld ones as we came on the boardwalk and that. And if they're any good, I'll put them, you'll have seen them already. And if this one's any good, just to give you an idea what the new jet is like, we'll put them up. And then possibly at some point in the future, we'll come back when we can get a, a better image rather than just a quick, um, quick image. So, right, anyway. We'll see you a little bit later.
Right, well we've made it to the head of the lake and if we come round here we've got to Chinese, what well locally is called Chinese Bridge. I have got a picture that I captured or an image I captured probably two or three years ago and from the road and is when the, the lake flooded and the centre of the bridge there was only just above the water and that shows you how deep it can get but we've come up with another composition you can see from the down oops down there there's the camera and what I thought just trying to get a different perspective I don't know how easy it'd be able to see with the this camera so we've got looking under the bridge and we can see skidder there under the bridge with the bridge sort of making a frame it's just unfortunate that there's some trees the other side so we haven't got a completely clear view but I'm sure we can on the image just do something to to make skidder just stand out a bit so I thought yeah that's just it a different again a different perspective the only thing we've got on we've got a polarizer just to get rid of the the glare on the water and I think the image that I took was um, f11 100 ISO and a 50th of a second and we've got the 16 to 35 on and we're sort of more or less fully open so we're almost at 16 not quite so yeah it's just a bit different so yeah hopefully the image will be quite good we may end up i think we've got quite a bit of sky and the bottom so we might make it more a letterbox type of image so well yeah if it's any good we'll put that up and then we're going to head around the other side so yeah, we're nearly, we're not quite halfway, I don't think, but getting on for halfway, so. We're not rushing, we're just taking our time. We've got all afternoon and into the evening, so, yeah. So anyway, as I say, we'll put the image up and we'll see you a little bit later. Well, we've just come round and started going down the other side and I don't know whether you can see there in the centre, I think it's in the centre of the the frame, is a heron. Not quite sure what sort of heron is. I don't normally capture the images of birds and wildlife but I just couldn't resist it. It's at times like this that I wish I'd got me 100, 400, even at, with the 70 to 200 zoomed in fully zoomed in it was still still a bit small in the frame but um, yeah we captured its image and yeah the best one we'll put up on the video after this and we'll see you a little bit later
Right, well we've stopped and we've come up with another um, composition. Yeah, and there you can see the camera. And then if we zoom out, you'll see there's the jetty and across the lake is Waller Crag and Ladies Rake and um, just to the right of that is Falcon Crag. So the composition we've come up with, rather than the standard one looking down straight down the jetty, we've come at a slight angle. So we've got the jetty to one side and Waller Crag behind them. If I zoom in, it probably gives you a better perspective. So, yeah, this is a jetty we're at Lower Bandle How. I've never actually captured an image from here. So, so this is a new one for me. Um, it's a fairly um, bog standard thing. It's not particularly gritly, slightly different perspective, but for me it is a new image. So, yeah, we'll put the image up and then we're going to carry on. This could well be the last place we actually stop to take images. We're getting um, towards the end of where we can get close to the, the lake shore, etc. And then we're as soon as you get to Port and Scale, we're more or less on path stroke roads back into Keswick. So anyway, we'll, we'll carry on, see if we come across anything else and if we do we'll put that up i have taken quite a few handheld shots as we've come round and if there are any good i'll have mixed them in with the b-roll of me coming round so hopefully you have seen though some of those and you will have enjoyed them so yeah we'll put this image up and we'll see you a little bit later
Right, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I've got into port in scale and I'm on the road. And then it's sort of more or less roads or paths where there won't be any Im images all the way back home now. So, yeah, I mean, I'll put the map up. But I'll keep the GPS going until I get home and I'll put the map up showing where I've been. It'll have been around 10 miles by the time I get home. So, yeah. No, it's been a good afternoon. Stroke evening. It's probably about half seven now but yeah it's uh, just good to get out not in a rush not feeling I've got to get iconic images just wanting to get something different a different perspective from walking around um, Derwent water and uh, you'll have seen quite a lot of handheld images as well as uh, the ones from the tripod I think all the ones on the tripod I did actually video when I was taking them, whereas the um, the ones on the handheld ones I haven't, so I would have just put them at the appropriate point in the B-roll. But yeah, so if you've enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, why not subscribe? And yeah, please do, please comment. I do appreciate all comments, and I, I do respond to all comments. Be that an answer or a thank you or whatever so yeah and we'll just plod on I mean I don't know what I'm doing next quite busy over the the forthcoming I mean this is Sunday we're next and this should be going up next Sunday so that means I've got a week to get it sorted although I've got the one from Angel of the North that was done yesterday I've uh, got to get that sorted to go up on Wednesday. Uh, next weekend is quite busy. My youngest daughter's quite busy, so we're uh, looking after the grandsons quite a bit, and our oldest daughter is coming up and staying with us with her two grand. Ah, uh, why not her? <laughs> the other two grandsons. So that means there'll be, four, at times, will be four grandsons all together, and it does get a bit hectic when you've got four of them they just seem to um, egg each other on and it gets quite noisy hopefully as they get a bit older it's the starting to the oldest he's 11 now they'll calm down a bit but we'll, we'll see so yeah not quite sure what's going to be on the next one but thank you for all that subscribe um, as far as I'm aware well, when I last looked we had hit 650 my next target, in a sense, I'd like to hit is 750. Although we seem to be growing in terms of the number of views and the time viewed, the number of subscribers is fairly static at the moment. It'd be nice to see that grow. So, yeah, if you haven't and you do keep watching, why not subscribe? It does the, the algorithm quite good and then you, you'll find that easier when the videos go up so yeah all right i think i've rambled enough and we'll say we'll see you on the next video